Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Cars 3 Darren Lightfoot the veteran shiny wax piston cup racer number 82 now before we get right into the review let me discuss something so Darren Lightfoot along with Murray Kletchburn Punchy Wipeout <clears throat> Todd Marcus, Floyd Mulvihill, Dirk San Diego, Stino, Ralph Carlo, and Ernie Gearson, who I unfortunately don't have, were one of the background racers from Cars 1 to return to Cars 3 with their newer body, similar to Cal Weathers. And in 2016, he attended he was one of the racers to attend the Dynaco, the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South, the Dynaco 400 at Copper Canyon Speedway, and was one of the remaining stock car racers to return to cars, the remaining stock car racers to participate in the LA, LA 500 at the Los Angeles International Speedway. And before the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway in February of 2017, he was, he was dismissed by his sponsor in favor of a next-gen racer named Conrad Camber. But that is going to have to be a review for another day. So anyhow, without any more further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we've got his smirking facial expression and his grill and headlights with a number 82 underneath. And on the hood, we've got the Shiny Wax logo. And the, on the left side, we've got a number 82 and an arrow indicating a pity to lift him up. And uh, the exhaust pipes and the Shiny Wax logo and the gas caps and light year on front fenders and black walls on the black rims on the light year tires. And the few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. And... On the top, we've got another number 82 and no name signature, shiny wax logo on the trunk. And on the back, we've got the camera and the shiny wax logo and the tail lights and a number 82 on the back bumper. And on the right side, similar design but completely different. And that is it. Now let's compare them to the Cars 1 Darren Leadfoot. Here are some similarities and differences. Both are Darren Leadfoot. Bo both return, both bear the number 82 for shiny wax, but here are some differences. Cars 1 Darren Leadfoot has an angry facial expression and has 82 on headlights, while Cars 3 Darren Lightfoot has a smirk facial expression and has 82 underneath. This bot model is similar to Aiken Axler, while Cars 3 version is similar to Cal Weathers. 2005 logo, 2016 logo, 2005 number 82, 2016 number 82, Light year on front fenders, no light year on front fenders. Both have black rims on light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes on both sides. Arrow underneath, no arrow at, on, arrow at the bottom, no arrow at the bottom. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cub, Nitroade, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, Vitally, No Stall, Gaskets, Gas Sprint, Easy Idle, RPM, Little Torquey Pistons, Leakless, Retreading, Clutch Aid. Lesser sponsors saying Piston Cub, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitro Aid, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. The Shiny Wax logo and the gas caps. Black on back bumper. No black on back bumper. Just the Shiny Wax logo. Camera on back. No camera on back. Number 82 on taillights. No number 82 on taillights. 
just the number 82 on the back bumper. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other racers that share his body mold. We've got Punchy Wipeout. Excuse me. Murray Clutch. Punchy Wipeout. Murray Clutchburn. Terry Cargas, even though he's an XL Fijon EA. And Cal Weathers, even though he's a Capital Motors Mark II. And now let's pull up some of the other Shiny Wax Racers. We've got B Cars 1, Darren Leadfoot, which I already recorded previously, and Conrad Camber. But a review for Conrad Camber will have to be a review for another day. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Cal Weathers body mold is your favorite and which Shiny Wax racer is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car should I review next in the comments as well. And consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel for public watch time. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!